Salam and hi everyone. In this video, I want to show you how to create this column labeling and how to create this revision cloud. Okay, so let's open the AutoCAD file. Okay, here by using the rectangle command, press enter, then click here. Then we specify the dimension 150, 100. Then press enter. Let's click to this zoom extent okay in order to magnify the drawing now by using the offset command press enter then we put the offset distance 3 press enter then simply click to this rectangle like this we offset inward click press enter then by using the line command press enter we draw a line like this from this midpoint to this point press enter then repeat the same command we create a line from this midpoint to this midpoint ok press enter then by using the offset command press enter we put the offset distance 1.5 press enter then simply click to this line then offset to the right and to the left same goes to this line offset upward and offset downward like this press enter then simply we just erase this line okay by using the trim command press enter twice in order to trim this part okay this part this part this part this part and this part okay okay now press enter now i want to show you how to create the column labeling okay by using the circle command, press enter, we draw a circle like this Then we put the radius 5.5 Ok Then by using the line command, press enter Press shift, right click Choose quadrant Then here we have it, the quadrant Then let's draw a line like this Ok, just click here Press enter Now I want to change this line type select this line and go here you can see other then click load then here I want to use this line type then click OK then click OK ok select this line and I choose this line type ok now by using the LT scale I uh, mean line type scale press enter I put the line line type scale 0.2 press enter ok so we have it now I want to convert it to block so by using the block command press enter here I name it as column then hit point I choose this point then select object I select all of this object press enter then I just click ok then here we are in block editor now I want to put the attribute definition so I just here for the text I put X then for the text setting justification I choose middle center then for the text height I click here then I just specify on the screen like this ok then I just click ok then I put the attribute to this center ok next I go to parameter tab then I choose linear then I click here until here ok then go to the action tab I choose stretch then I click to this parameter then over here I click to this point then I need to specify the first corner then this is the first corner and also this is uh, the second corner ok then select object I just select this line then press enter you can click save block then you can close this block editor ok now let's erase this uh, attribute column ok now you can see the insert icon here we can get the column for column labeling so
So simply we put here so press shift right click choose mid between two point then choose the first point and the second point here then we need to put for example one then click ok so here we have it so let's bring a little bit upward like this then also you can see this line you can stretch it downward like this ok then simply you can copy this column labeling like this by using the copy command ok like this ok then you can edit this number by double click on on that number then we put 2 and here we put 3 double click then put 3 ok for the horizontal position we need to copy this column labeling like this copy here then by using the rotate command press enter select object press enter then simply we can rotate like this then by using the move command press enter select object press enter then ok we specify here ok the base point here press shift right click choose mid between two point so here is the first point and here is the second point ok then just copy to another column ok alright so next we just double click to this number and we put A for example ok then here we put B ok then here we put C ok ok so here you can see this line we can stretch it to the left same goes to this line ok ok now for example let's see we have the amendment over here so for example I just draw a rectangle like this then I put a hatch ok I hatch here ok so I change the scale I put the scale 10 for example ok ok I want to show you how to create the revision cloud so firstly we need to create a rectangle for example ok we use a rectangle like this ok then by using the revision cloud command REVC press enter then click to the arc length then we need to specify the arc length 9 the minimum 9 the second arc length also 9 then click to this object then click to this rectangle then press enter so you can see the revision cloud ok done you can double click the middle, the middle mouse button double click the middle mouse button in order to maximize the drawing then you can press control control P I have set the previous plot setting so here you can set to DWG to PDF ISO A3 S10 center the plot then skip fit to paper then you can preview the PDF file so it can be like this ok alright so only that thank you for watching my tutorial video for AutoCAD uh, don't forget to keep follow me for more update information let's let's subscribe my youtube channel for more update okay thank you